Hi, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the seventh video in the Balanced Forces series, uh, the last one where we look at an NCA problem. So this is from the 2020 paper. It's question 1B, and we're going to do C. They're both merit questions. Uh, so there's a car waiting on a slope, so it's stationary. Uh, the mass of the car is 1,600 kgs, and they give you that the friction force is up the slope there. Alright, so the first question says, um, they give you the friction force, can you la add labelled arrows to show the other two forces acting on the stationary car? So, um, we've got the downward force gravity, and labelled gravity uh, from the earth on that car, um, the friction which was already there. Now, it's a bit hard for me because I can't see the picture uh, that was on the, uh, the slide, but you've really got to make sure that you match your angles of your forces with the diagram they've given you. So this should be parallel to the road, and then... My normal force uh, should be perpendicular to the road. Um, so it would have been easier if I was drawing it on the actual diagram. The normal force on the road from the car. And then it says a labelled vector diagram. So that's my vector addition diagram and show how these three forces add together. So I take one of the forces um, and I add the next one head to tail. So I've got my normal force I'm going to add in next and then my friction force last. With um, the vector addition diagram, don't get lazy, label them. Now you see my labels are a lot shorter than my original labels on my force diagram. That's okay because I've already got that there. But also put the angles in as well. So put your 90 degree in and put the angle you know. So in this case it's 10 degrees. Uh, and in video 6 in this series I showed you how to find that if you're not sure which is the, um, the, the angle. Alright, so C is another merit question. It says um, find the first force of gravity on the car and then show that the friction force is 2700 newtons. So they're giving, giving you a clue on which way to start. So the only formula we have for forces uh, really is the force of gravity, which is mass times the gravitational field strength. In this case, 1600 times 9.8 newtons per kg. Multiply those together, you get 15,000 newtons. Okay, then I label my um, vector addition diagram. I've got my opposite, which is the friction, my adjacent, which is the normal force, and my hypotenuse. Remember, hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree uh, angle. I... Um, want to find friction force and I know my gravity force. So these are the two um, sides of the triangle I care about. I've got opposite and hypotenuse. I do my so car toa um, and opposite hypotenuse is so, so I'm going to use sine. So sine 10 degrees is opposite which is friction force over hypotenuse which is gravity force. Throw my values actually in there. So I've got gravity force which is 15,680 and then rearrange it to find my friction force and that gives me 2,722 um, and to two significant figures that's 2,700 so another merit question there